Hi, I'm Danielle, a librarian at Pasadena City College Library. In this tutorial, I'll be introducing you to the library database Opposing Viewpoints and Context. In this video, we will locate PCC library databases, browse content which can be useful for developing topic ideas when you're getting started with a research paper, search the database for information, find a full text article, generate a citation, and save an article for later use. Let's go ahead and locate the Opposing Viewpoints database. You'll want to begin at the Pasadena City College Library website, pasadena.edu forward slash library. Scroll down to the red menu and select Databases. A new tab will open providing you with an alphabetical list of over 100 subscription databases that you have free access to just by using your Lancer Point login. To quickly narrow down my search for opposing viewpoints, I'm going to select the letter O. By doing so, I narrow down my choices just to the databases that begin with O. Opposing viewpoints is the second database listed. When accessing the subscription content from home, you will be prompted to log in using your Lancer Point or Canvas login. If you need research topic ideas or want to browse for topics, aside from this highlighted content here on the front page, you can use the Browse Issues button at the top to see more options. You will be taken to a new page listing major topics this database collects content on. This can be especially useful for sparking ideas for topics for you to research. By clicking on a topic, you will be redirected to a page with grouped content all related to the topic you've picked. You can select from a variety of information sources, such as magazines or newspapers or some academic journals. Let's go back to the home page and practice a search using keywords. Let's note that we should use keywords, but we shouldn't ask in the form of a question. For instance, we might search for a topic like homelessness in Los Angeles. However, we wouldn't want to ask the database a question such as, what is the rate of homelessness in Los Angeles? For another practice search, I'm going to search the keyword propaganda. The search results are grouped by source type or content type here at the top. I can select any of these, such as newspapers, to narrow down my results to just those information sources. We can click the title of an article to access the full text. After examining the article to determine its relevance for your search, there's a couple tools here that might also save you some time. On the right side, the Explore column, the database will recommend related articles that might be even a better fit from what you need. You may also want to save the article for later. On the Send To button, you get the option of Google Drive, OneDrive, and Email. I recommend Email. You even get the title of the article conveniently put into the subject line automatically for you, and you will receive an MLA 8 citation automatically with the email as well. If you need a different form of a citation, you can always come to the top and select the Cite button here. You can switch your citation to APA 6th edition or Chicago 17th edition. Remember, librarians are here to help. You can chat with us any hour you might need us. To connect with us, click the Ask a Librarian button on our homepage. There you can access our 24-7 chat service to start a conversation. You will also find details about other ways you can connect with us for help. That concludes this quick tutorial. 
Thank you for watching this video. Check our YouTube page for other quick library tutorials.